Representing the top three desires of men, these three gods of prosperity, longevity, happiness are much respected among the Chinese. The god of prosperity, Lu Xing, Lu Xing was said to have first style the Big Dipper, an auspicious star blessing ancient intellectuals with a position in the civil service. In the Song Dynasty, Lu Xing became another name for scholar star. The popularity of Lu Xing among common people and especially intellectuals might well be due to the establishment of the imperial examinations, a, civ- a Chinese civil service recruitment method and educational system. Before the Sui Dynasty, when the system was first employed, common people hardly had access to becoming god officials. For most intellectuals across China, the path to high positions in such a bureaucracy appeared to be too crowded. It's not hard to imagine how severe the examinations could be in ancient China. Therefore, Lu Xin naturally became a god who most examinees were turned to for blessing. Lu Xin's often seen holding a baby boy, and another route to prosperity and especially a source of comfort in old age. From the Ming Dynasty, Lu Xin became a god that helped couples overcome childlessness. The god of happiness, Fu Xin. Fu Xin is a star that ancient Chinese thought was in charge of agriculture in China. Today, Fu Xin is generally shown as a court of show with a characteristically winged hat and often a scepter in his hand. But he looked enormously different in the age-old drawing depicting 28 gods in the early Tang Dynasty, where with a tiger face and leopard eyes, sitting on a huge wild boar, he ranked as the head of the gods. In the Tang Dynasty, Fu Xing became the governor of Dazhou in Honan of central China. The emperor of his day found midgets amusing, and often conflicted them from Dazhou. When Governor Yang learned that the midgets were unhappy to be taken away from their families, he stood up to the emperor and abolished the practice. Thus, Yang became immortalized as one who brings blessings and happiness. The god of longevity, Shou Xing, Shou Xing is perhaps the most popular of the three stars, and is often portrayed alone. Legend says that Shou Xing spent nine months in the womb, and born with an extraordinarily large forehead. His father saw the star of the South Pole the night he was conceived. This star is said to determine the time of a person's death, so Shou Xing is often called the old deity of the South Pole. Shou Xin is usually seen holding the peach of immortality and carrying a peach wood staff. Legend says that the celestial peach was the queen of heaven's favorite fruit, which blossoms once every 3,000 years, with it taking near 3,000 years for the peach tree to bear fruit. Thus, a bar of the celestial peach could gain longevity. In typical illustrations of Shou Xin, a crane, a bat, a deer, or some combination of these may be near him, though they are sometimes associated with the two other stars. For visitors wishing for prosperity, wealth, and longevity, you can strike the bell once.